So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. My name is Ruth Basuelo from Carval.com and in today's video I am going to show you how you can get data from international organizations in just a few clicks and you can schedule refresh it also so it's always up to date. If you are a business developer like really this this is a dream come true and if you're not you probably will need this data anyway so stay tuned. Okay, so in October 2021, this month, the Power BI team released a new connector, the SDMX connector. And SDMX is basically the protocol that these international organizations use to distribute data to open source, you know, to the, to the community. And some of the organizations that participate in this initiative are the ones that you see here. So UNICEF, you have OECD, you have uh, the Australian Bureau of Statistics, so it's official statistics of Australia. There is from Chile, International Labor Organization. So you will be able to get with this connector like data from a ton of resources and the schedule refresh it is really, really good. So this is important to say. The connector is an SDMX csv connector okay so you need to generate the sdms csv query in this platform so each of these organizations have their own platform i'm going to show you a few you will have to uh, provide a sdmx csv query in order to be able to pull that data out of the box in power bi and some of these organizations are still upgrading to that so you won't be able to get it from all organizations all sdmx organizations yet but hopefully in the future i'm going to show you again a few of the sources that i found that are using this and how you actually connect okay so i'm going to show you some of the resources i have for example here cambodia that they do have a dot stat data explorer really really nice resource to search information about this country for example there is also the data hub the pacific data hub that will give you information about all the pacific countries there is the same for the australia i mean you just click here i'll, I'll, I'll show you with an example later and then you, you'll be able to get the data UNICEF, for example, has not upgraded the service yet. If you go to the REST web service, you will be able to use this. Uh, if you select the SDMX CSV uh, with the connector, it will work, but it will work also with the web, so it's not being upgraded yet. But you can get data from uh, UNICEF. So how does it work? These data explorers are actually very useful easy to use you go here and you know you want information on trade by the way this query that i am going to use now is the query that i am using for my data exploration on my second channel i'm going to give you uh show you how to get the same query so in case you want to also experiment with data visualizations this is the query okay and i'll show you what i'm doing in just a second so if you search for trade the first result it will give you international merchandise trade statistics which is the one I'm using for my data explorations I'm going to click on it and it will load the uh, dot stat experience as they call it and uh, here you will have the table with the raw data and here on your left you have all the parameters that you can use when specifying how you want the output to be so for the data uh, the query that I'm using, what I'm having is, so this is trade, so imports and exports to or from Pacific countries, and I want to know where to or from. So if this counterpart area, what I do is I want to have all the levels. So I want to have the 54. So this will give basically give me from a Pacific country to um, import and then and then export right so it will give me all the data that i need and also i want to have not the pacific countries all but i want to have them individually and they are already you can see them here so i have pacific countries and territories counterpart areas so importing or exporting to and then the units of measure us dollars that's fine for a time to 2015 to 2019 
So this is a query that I'm using my data exploration. So if you want to get this query, you go here to developer API, and this is the query that you copy. So you go copy code, and then you open Power BI, get data, more, and then you search for the SDMX connector, SDMX connect, paste it, and then here you say if you want to have codes and labels, codes or labels. Let me put both so you'll see how it works. And then here in the language, if you don't specify anything, it will give you the default language for the platform that you're getting the data from, in this case, from the Pacific Hub, okay? So if their default in language is English, you'll get it in English, so you don't need to specify anything. So you can start by not specifying, and then if you say, oh, I don't understand the data, then you can put a country using these tags, right? So you have to have the, the correct uh, initials for the language in order to, to get it properly. So this is going to the Data Hub API, grabbing the data and returning it to us. And I'll show you how it looks. So you can see here time period and semicolon and time. So the first part is the uh, code and the second is the label. Normally I'm guessing that you will want to have labels only. So if I click on here, I think most of the times you will just want to have the labels. You click on it, and then you just select the columns that you want. One of the things that the connector does not do yet is um, detect data types. Um, so you will have to put these manually, okay? It's not a big deal, but you do have to do it. And once you have done that then you can just close and apply load the data and then publish to the service so once you publish to the service you can schedule refresh it so you will give you a live update so when the pacific hub uh, is updated it will update on your end too very 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 useful now here we got the data you can put it in there boom, boom, boom. Publish it to the web. So now that has been published, we're going to schedule refresh it. Okay, so we go to the source, go to the, I put it on my workspace. So go to my workspace, search for it, it's the MX, and then you do as you do with any source. You go to settings, you edit the credentials. The credentials are always going to be anonymous. and you choose if it is organizational or public. This is public data, so you can put public if you want to. And uh, that's all. I mean, you don't need to have a gateway or anything like that. You can then just go to schedule refresh on apply, and this thing will refresh. So if you need population data from, from Europe, or if you need like GDP data or labor data or whatever it is that you need, you can get it very, very easily. Okay, so if you want to join me on my data exploration quest, this is what I'm doing. I downloaded the data set that I showed you, and I am um, looking for different ways to compare two or more variables. The two or more variables here are mainly imports versus exports on different Pacific Island countries. There is a year factor, but I'm not factoring in on the visualization. I will do that separately in another file later on. And then I have to or from, right? So here, for example, I have imports versus exports for Fiji. You can actually delete that and then you can see for all Pacific countries. Or you can, you know, pick a country that you want. You can pick a year if you want to. But this is done just year by year. I have another one. All these visualizations have been done with Charticulator, by the way. So I have, um, and the tutorials are available on Corval Data Labs, my second YouTube channel. I have here another one where you can see the countries, Pacific countries, and the export import uh, continents. And you, you can see here the balls, the exports and imports. I have also visualized it with a lollipop chart where you can actually see uh, all the data or you see the big traders 
and the small traders, you know, because sometimes when you have outliers, the data gets so skewed that you see nothing. So this is one option. I have another one for visualizing how big the outliers are, and you can see here for exports and imports for all countries. I have another one for, this is Sankey, and then I have the Pacific countries here, and then I have the continents here. And uh, I found this very difficult to read, probably you too, so I don't know, no, probably not a very effective visualization. I'm just exploring, right? I'm just, I'm just, I want to see what can be done. This is also another Sankey chart, but the things get a lot more clear once you pick one specific country. Pacific country, right? You can see where the imports and exports are uh, on that specific country. So you, I, I think this is a lot clearer to, to actually see, visualize. I don't know how effective it is though, that has to be decided yet. I have this one too, imports versus export is missing the label, I haven't done it yet. But uh, so here is imports, export, and then this is the variance, so the difference between the two. And here, my latest try is comparing it by square, imports and export. I'm having some problems with articulator of layering things, what should be in the front or in the back. So this is still a work in progress. And I'm going to continue doing, uh, experimenting on ways to compare two or more uh, variables, basically. Using articulator or normal charts, I don't mind. I mean, it's just, uh, I'm just trying to learn and expand my database uh, it's hard to use basically so if you want to join me you know how to get the data and um, just get in contact with me I have a link in the group where we talk about chart later I have my discord channel which I'm not sure that I'm going to keep but for now I'm going to keep it and see if we use it or not if we don't I probably will kill it and uh, yeah if you want to join me by either looking or doing you're very very welcome so um i will see you again on tomorrow where i will show you how to create uh, this chart in articulator and then i will see you again on thursday as always so hope you enjoyed today's video take care and bye bye